So when we first discussed this topic, we were going to talk about Rob Rosenstein. Now, I sent Jay Black a chart, and we're going to see the chart. And it just shows to show how high up in the rankings um, of law enforcement this person is. Um, he's the... Deputy Attorney General? Deputy Attorney General. Jeff Sessions is the Attorney General. Jeff Sessions is the top of the chart. He's the second in line. Okay. So, Rosenstein, he would be Sessions' assistant somewhat? He's really like the vice president. If it was a corporate structure, mm -hmm. it would be president, vice president. Mm -hmm. So, president would be Jeff Sessions. Vice president would be Rob Rosenstein. Got you. Okay, cool. Now, you know how much I hate Jeff Sessions. But he is who he is. Donald Trump don't even like Jeff Sessions. <laughs> but he is who he is. Right, right. Um, Donald Trump doesn't like Jeff Sessions because he recused himself from the Russian investigation. Y'all remember the Russian investigation? Well, it's still going on. Just keep that in mind in everything that's going on because when the midterms come along, we're going to get to see if more Democrats take over. So anyway, Rob Rosenstein was in the news lately because he was going to quit, but then Trump was going to fire him, mm. but then he was going to go to quit before he could get fired. And at the end of it, Trump was like, yo, chill. <laughs> we'll talk about it next week. Blah, blah, blah. If you like, I say this every week. If you like mob movies, gangster movies, if you like The Sopranos, baby, you missing so much if you're not paying attention to what's going on in this Trump administration because it is it. a mess, okay? Yeah. Rob Rosenstein was accused of recording a conversation in which he said he wanted to record Mr. Trump. Hello? How many people already got busted recording him? Yeah. Yep. Okay, he wanted to record him too. So this yep. is just, like, you ever been in a situation where it's some really weird shit going on, and you're looking around like, yo, does anyone else see this weird shit going on? It's just, it seems like that's what's going on there, because everyone just won't record it, because they know how You got the blind leading the blind, though. And in this government, yeah. what's crazy is the government is like just a reflection of the people it yeah. represents. So yeah. what's going on is... They're all trying to be down with Trump because mm -hmm. Trump is the is the dude in the club that has the section in all the bottles, yeah. right? He's the president. So now everybody wants to get down with him. So mm -hmm. everyone, all the senators, they're just like, yo, you know what I mean? Trying to, like, get in on his good side. Mm -hmm. For what? I don't know. Because I guess because he won and I think that he they think his followers are going to be doing all this stuff that they're not going to do. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, Rob Rosenstein is not with the shits. He was going to record him because what he was doing was not good. It was a violation of the 25th Amendment. So he was gonna, so once Trump got wind of this, he made a big deal out of it. He wants the guy gone. He also wants Jeff Sessions gone. Jeff Sessions was the one that was involved with firing Mueller. And it's all because of this investigation. It's a mess. Anyway, he's not gonna get fired. Can they hear you? Come over here and talk right there. Because, um, was he what? I was, said, he, was he was he going to record a conversation? He was going to record a conversation. Oh, okay. But he's saying he wasn't. It's like there was a report in the New York Times that said that Rob Rosenstein has a recording or wanted to record Trump, and he said he didn't, but he wanted to. It's all he said. <laughs> she said oh, until man. we hear until oh, I hear man. these recordings, like I'm a Rosa put out. Like a lot of people just be recording this dude because I'm a, I'm sure like behind closed doors he be on some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. He be reckless, well, bro. Yeah, yeah, no yeah, filter. Already reckless, so That's what. I'm behind closed doors, <laughs> hey, I believe it. I believe it. Man. Yeah. So if Jeff, so <laughs> Trump wants to fire Jeff Sessions, but if he fires Rob Rosenstein, it could be like a two for one. Yeah. But I don't know what's gonna happen. It makes him look bad if he does it. Um, it's a mess. And and if Jeff Sessions gets put out, he might go back and run. In Alabama again. <laughs> Go back to Bama. But, I mean, again, it's pointless. Like, why are they always trying to take each other out? And they're supposed to be on the same side. And it's always somebody trying to record Trump or do this, do that. But at the end of the day, you guys put this man in office. So that's on y'all, man. If the attorney that's general, if, if, if Jeff Sessions resigns, Trump is free to pick any of the other 357 people in his administration who have been confirmed by the Senate. Guess who one of those people could be? I mean, 357, that's a lot to choose from. You don't want him to put Rudy Giuliani as the attorney general, Batman. babe, because everybody's going frisk. to jail. Nationwide, <laughs> nationwide stop and frisk. Everybody's going to jail. So yeah. it's like a lose-lose until you get rid of Trump, y'all. Like, you can't fix it. You know 
what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's like one of those things where so many things are fucked up with your car, you just gotta get a new car. <laughs> like, <laughs> you cannot <laughs> fix this. He's just gonna. Can you, um, Rudy Giuliani? Oh, that was man. a wild boy, man. Yo. He cleaned up New York, though. <laughs> he cleaned up Times Square. New York? Wait, New York? Yeah, uh, he, what was but see, yeah. Stop and frisk, dude. Yeah. He oh, yeah. had yeah, to stop and frisk laws. It could be, oh. it could be Chris yeah. Christie. Yeah. Like, Yo, yeah. he he was the one that implemented stop and frisk. He was the one that like got. He's nah, it stopped. Yeah, and it had to because I mean, if 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 you keep stuff like that up, you're gonna have so many prisoners, bro. Like what? That's Republicans ridiculous, man. Republicans are a bunch of cowards. They all yeah. want Trump to tweet about them and shit. Like you know what I mean? They all want to be the one that Trump gets on Twitter like he's my guy. Come on. You're all going to get voted out? I can't wait, baby. Wait till the midterm elections. It's going to be so funny. <laughs> man. And now this Brett Kavanaugh shit is just making y'all look even worse. It's like it's, it's man, horrible. Hey, the White House turned into a reality show. It really has. It it's is. And that's show. what I'm That's saying. a nice saying right there. And that's a quote. That's, that's a quote. Yeah, man. That's, y'all better it's vote. Like that, I mean, it's, it's getting to the point that the White House ain't, you know, it's losing its respect in a sense. It really has. It's already gone. That president's position has definitely lost his respect. It's already Trump gone. In the it really has. Because uh, Quincy Jones, um, his documentary, it came on Netflix. I and I it's it beautiful. Was, yeah, it's yeah. amazing, bro. Like, I gained so much respect for him. But seeing how President Obama was, like, talking to him, I'm like, bro, that, like, he was the president. Like, I keep forgetting about that. But seeing how, like, he carried himself, everything. And now when you compare that to Trump, you don't even see that. Like, he's not diplomatic. He's not smooth. He just show up and he just walk around. He can't speak well. So, I mean, growing up, wanting to be a president or, or anything that, that held political office, you knew that you had to bring your A game. And now seeing Trump, it's just like you can be whatever you, know, you want to be. So seeing that, man, it's, it's sad. It's extremely but sad. just because Jeff Sessions recused himself, Rob Rosenstein had to hire somebody, an outside counsel, to figure out what was going on. And so he hired Robert Mueller. And, you know, so Trump doesn't really – he's pissed off because, I don't know, <laughs> all those people that were down with him are getting convicted. And they're agreeing to tell. Like, it's just mounting up. And if you know anything about the feds, they don't come until they already have the answers to the questions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, the feds aren't the cops. The, fe- <laughs> the cops come and find out what's going on. The feds know what's going on, and then they're coming. The feds are like women. <laughs> <laughs> they going to ask you questions. Yeah, they already know the answer to the question. That's real. So, anyway, make sure y'all vote. Um, a lot of people are coming out and speaking out. Um, I was watching the, the... What concert was that that was on last night? Um, on MSNBC, there was a concert... And Cardi B performed, and she came out and spoke about voting. voting. Right? Yeah. And she's very outspoken. It's like now that she's got a lot of money and she's got investments and stuff, she knows how, how taxes no, work. No, no, she's been all. She always been like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Like she, uh, like that's one thing about Cardi B. I can say she stayed true. Like before she even blew up. Yeah. She talked about politics and she talked about Trayvon Martin. I remember that. Oh, yeah. 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 She's yeah. very yeah. passionate. Yeah. 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 Yep. She's very passionate. It was a, it was a good concert. Uh, Janet Jackson was there. Q-Tip came out. I can't look at Janet the same. The Global though. Citizens Award. Why not? What's wrong with Janet? <laughs> with the, uh, Bobby Brown. Dude, that was funny, oh, man. I didn't watch the Bobby Brown. Oh, Janet was wilding back Janet, in the bro. day, y'all. <laughs> Janet was wilding. Janet was wilding. Cool. I didn't I like Janet. Janet because she allegedly made Tupac get an AIDS test when they did that movie, nah, but they, that was a lot. They want you, okay, but see, now y'all are finding out everything. Y'all got it good. Back then, we just went on rumors. Yeah, okay? that's it. We didn't have You had word of mouth. Exactly. And Vibe magazine. You had to read the magazine that came out <laughs> once a month that might be right. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on. 